Hi and welcome. My name is Sarah McLean and I am excited to be meditating with you today. I'd like to talk a little bit about how natural meditation actually is. Meditation is as natural as any other natural body experience like sleeping and digesting and breathing and seeing. Meditation is so simple and so natural, but somehow we've been untrained to do it. I don't know why exactly, but if you notice that your senses direct your attention outward. You see the world, you smell the world, you taste the world, you feel your way through the world, and you hear your way through the world. And your senses help you to navigate that which is, exists here in space and time. And because of this external focus, it makes it a little more challenging to turn your attention inward. Even though naturally it is what we do, we've been sort of trained out of it by the charms and wonders of this world. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the natural experience you have when you close your eyes and meditate. Meditation is as natural as sleep. What happens, however, is when we close our eyes and this interior world begins to charm us with its thoughts, ideas, inspirations, compulsions, obsessions, we begin to believe that all that's in there are our thoughts, are these mental activations. And what we maybe don't have faith in is that over and over, if we continue to stay with our practice and refocus our attention back to whatever the meditation is, then the mind will eventually, naturally settle down. So we become a little less engaged with our mental activity and we become a little less engaged with the physical experience and we transcend all that to have the experience of our own awareness. And what tends to happen is we think, because we've heard along the way that meditation helps to clear the mind, which it does. We believe on some level we're supposed to magically clear it with some effort that we're not sure that we possess. So what I like to suggest is that we allow the mind to settle down without being the doer. That we simply with faith and intention close our eyes and pay attention to the focus of our meditation with a very gentle attention. One of my favorite philosophers, Yoda, he said, he's from Star Wars, he said, do or do not, there is no try. And I think a mistake that many of us make in meditation is that we try too hard to have an experience. So what I'd like to do is have you not try, but instead do. What does do mean? It means to bring your attention back to the practice every time you notice your attention has drifted away. So for instance, if you're in the middle of meditation and suddenly you realize you've been daydreaming about a work meeting or decorating a room you have and you realize it, you simply come back to the focus of your meditation, whether it's something you feel or see or hear. Now, it doesn't matter how many times you have to do it, but you don't try to come back. You simply come back over and over and over. And over time, this tends to change your relationships with, or your relationship with your thoughts and the mental activations. So today our focus is going to be on not trying, but simply to allow the natural experience of meditation to occur. So this one, today I think we'll begin with a loving-kindness meditation. Some of you have heard about this. Loving-kindness is a practice that was established in the Tibetan Buddhist tradition, and it's very, very, it's probably their mainstay. Now, I go into schools, and I don't call it loving-kindness, because I think the word love scales, scares them, so I call it the kindness meditation. And who can really be afraid of kindness? So your job is to choose. 
a phrase, and the typical phrase for loving kindness meditation is, may you be free from suffering. May you be surrounded with loving kindness. Or may you know loving kindness. Some people like to say, may you be free from ills, or may you feel safe, or may you know peace, or you may you feel loved. It might help you to bring to mind somebody you really care about, somebody who's very easy, or some, some living being who's easy to love, and find a phrase that suits your relationship, that's like an offering or a blessing. Find one that suits you. And it may be something completely different. May you be completely free from suffering and may you know peace. Find one that suits and get comfortable as we begin our meditation practice. This meditation practice is a self-awareness practice, as is every other meditation practice. And your job is to begin seated, if you can, sitting up comfortably. close your eyes. I'll keep track of the time throughout this practice and it's important to remember that this meditation practice is natural. There's no need to force an experience. There's no need to feel anything you don't feel. What is important is to become aware of what's going on and, and become aware of your feelings or your lack of them. To become aware of any Anything that arises without resistance, to bear witness to your experience rather than create an experience that isn't true for you. So let's begin with some deep breaths, and closing the eyes or capping the eyes. Give yourself some slow, long, deep breaths. And the idea is to breathe through your nose throughout this period, but if you feel as if you need to Breathe through your mouth, you can. And let your breath return to its natural rhythm and depth. Relax your body. Relax your beautiful face. Relax your belly. Make sure your whole body is soft and open. Notice the support of the chair or the sofa or the cushion and let yourself sink into that support. Gather yourself right here where your life is, where your body is resting, where your breath exists. As the mind takes a trip, just bring it right back here and gather yourself. Notice the stillness in your body. Notice any movement you feel. Notice that rise and fall of your chest and the expansion of your back as you breathe naturally. Throughout this experience, your breath may change, your body sensations may change, and your job is simply to notice them, not to direct them or change them, but just notice the changes that naturally occur. Bring your attention to the center of your chest. The 
if you like, you can place your hand there just to simply feel that and to direct your attention right to the heart center. You can keep your hand there or let it rest in your lap. But maintain your heart-centered awareness as you continue to breathe. And you may even imagine that your breath is sourced from the center of your chest. That your breath is moving in and out, right from your heart center. And bring to your heart mind the awareness of somebody that you really truly care about, a child, a parent, a partner, or any being that you feel love for, or who has been good or inspiring to you. They may have even passed. Just bring them to your awareness and get a feel for their presence. Visualize them or get a feel for them, or even silently say their name. And begin to offer them this phrase of loving kindness. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering. May you know peace. That's the one I use, but choose the one that you've chosen and begin to offer them from a very sincere place as a blessing and repeat the phrase silently imagining them receiving it there's no need to force a feeling but simply notice how you feel when you sincerely offer this blessing. Allow your breath to be natural as you continue to offer them this for a few minutes and I'll keep track of the time. Feel whatever emotions arise or whatever body sensations arise. And if your mind drifts away into a story, bring it right back here to this practice of loving kindness. Even if you don't feel anything, this practice can make some major changes in the way you operate throughout your day. Now you can let the awareness of that being fade and bring your attention right back to the heart center as you continue to breathe naturally, noticing that gentle rise and fall and the expansion of your back and contraction of your back as you breathe. Now with the same sincerity that you offered your loved one. Offer the same phrase of compassion to yourself 
sincerely. May I be, may I be free from suffering. Allow yourself to feel whatever comes up. Receive this blessing. You may feel nothing. You may feel love. You may feel pain. You may be confused about how you feel. Whatever you do feel is perfect. Remember, there is no creating an experience. You simply feel what arises. Bear witness to that. Don't pretend. And we'll stay with this focus of offering ourselves loving kindness for a few minutes. Keep your body relaxed. And return your attention once again to your breath, to your body. Allow yourself to relax and breathe naturally. Now identify a neutral person, maybe someone you met earlier today or yesterday someone you see but don't know very well, maybe you don't even know their name. Could be the bus driver or cashier or the delivery person and get a sense of them. See them doing what you saw them doing earlier. See their face. Begin to offer them the same phrases of compassion or the same phrase of compassion that you offered towards yourself and towards your loved one. Imagine them receiving it. Imagine their relief. Imagine it's making a difference. As you sincerely repeat that phrase, may you be surrounded by loving kindness. May you know love. May you feel safe. We'll do this for a couple of minutes. Keep your body relaxed. And stay with the practice if you notice your attention drifting away. It doesn't matter how many times you need to refocus.
Now bring your attention right back here, right back to your body, and scan your body to be sure you're completely relaxed. If your shoulders have crept up by your ears, let them relax, letting your arms hang comfortably. Relax your face. You can even tuck your chin in just a little bit to allow the back of your neck to lengthen slightly. Let your belly be soft. Let your hands relax. Now bring to your heart, mind, somebody you're having difficulty with or you've had some difficulty with, someone who might be a little more difficult to love. And imagine them getting a feel for their presence. And offer the same phrases of compassion to them. See what arises as you offer them the blessing, may you be free from suffering. Notice if you have difficulty or come up with a judgment about them. And if you do, just simply refocus your attention back onto the area around your heart. And maintain your attention right here. Don't go into a story about what they did to you or the difficulties you encountered with them. But instead, get a sense of who they are and the struggles they face every day. You may not know the burdens they carry or why they act the way they do. They're a human being with the same concerns you have with probably very similar desires for love and safety and security and fulfillment. So offer them, if you can, the same phrases of compassion, maintaining your beginner's mind. Keep your body relaxed. Even if they hurt you in the past, you can't fully know. You can't fully know their struggles. Bear witness to what you're feeling, whether it's pleasant, unpleasant, makes you feel anxious or you feel numb. And take your time and we'll do this for a couple of minutes. Imagine them receiving this blessing. Be kind to yourself as you continue to explore, as you offer them this loving kindness.
Now bring your attention back to your own body, to your own heart, to your own breath. Give yourself some slow, long, deep breaths through your nose. Don't hold the breath on the inhale or the exhale. And we'll do three more slow, long, deep breaths. Matching the length of the inhale to the length of the exhale. Dropping your awareness to the center of your chest again. Noticing that gentle rise and fall as you let your breath return to its natural rhythm and depth. Notice the softness of your attention. Notice the sweetness of your own heart. Identify someone or something who you believe is in, who is in need or is suffering. This can be practiced with any form of life. It can also be practiced with a group. So if you identify a group of people who are dealing with a natural disaster or people you believe are suffering, get a sense of them could even be an ecosystem or an area in the world or a group of animals. Find what's true for you. We all care about different, different beings, different life forms. Even if you don't know them personally or have never really been immersed in their worlds, Imagine that they have the same daily concerns that you do for safety and comfort and peace and community. Get a sense of them as they're struggling. And if you like, you can choose one or two, if you're choosing a group, one person that's a little bit like you. If you're a mother, identify a mother. If you're a daughter or a son, identify someone like that. A student, someone who has the same daily concerns that you do. And begin to offer them the same phrase, the same blessing for peace and kindness as you get a feeling for their presence. Notice the emotions that may arise. And just keep with the practice. Don't get hung up in their story but stay with this offering and imagine them receiving it, that it could quite possibly ease, even for an instant, their suffering. And we'll do this for a couple of minutes. Keep your body relaxed.
Stay with this practice as you relax your face. Keep your shoulders down. And bear witness to what you're experiencing as well. And you can let go of that experience, of them and your awareness. And come back here to your breath and your body in this moment. Feel your breath. Feel that heart center as it the chest rises and falls. And bring your attention now to those in your near, that are near you in your environment, whether they're in the next room or the house next door or the apartment below you. Expand your awareness to include people in your community. Perhaps you get a feel for one or two or many of them and one at a time, begin to offer them this same phrase of loving kindness. Maybe you know their names and maybe you don't. Just allow your awareness to expand from your household to your neighbors and even to your city. For the next few minutes, you can allow your awareness to expand as far and wide as you like. As you maintain a comfortable, relaxed body, bear witness to what you're feeling and continue to offer this blessing. Now bring your attention right back here, right back to your own heart center. And once again, as you relax your body, offer yourself this same phrase of kindness, the same blessing. May I be happy. May I be free from suffering. May, not, may I know loving kindness.
Bring your attention right back here, keeping your eyes closed. And give yourself some deeper breaths. Notice how you feel. It's always important to come out of meditation slowly, so you keep your eyes closed as long as you like. Enjoy your state of being. And with your eyes closed, I'm going to suggest that this practice can be done anywhere any time. It can be a spontaneous moment of prayer for someone who seems to be having a difficult time or if you happen to be watching the news and some disaster is reported, you can offer this same blessing. And it can change relationships with those people you find difficult. Even if you never feel much throughout the practice, it can actually change your state. There's a lot of research that shows that a seven minute practice of this can increase your connectivity with others. It's also been shown to reduce pain and anger with people with chronic pain. And it also helps to change the level of compassion and the increase in activity in the area of compassion in your brain. It reduces inflammation in the body. And it really does help to cultivate self-love, which can be sorely lacking. So thank you for sharing this practice with me today. When you want, you can slowly open your eyes. Loving kindness is always a good practice. And may you have a sweet day. May you be surrounded by loving kindness. May you know peace. Thanks for meditating with me.